Hi, I'm Alex Bellissimo, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to put line on an alvey reel correctly. It's extremely important that you put line on these reels properly, tight, straight, and most importantly, secure it on the reel as well. So here we go. Now, this line that I've got is far too heavy for this size reel. It's a 5500 alvey. Normally, line classes from 3 kilo to 6 kilo is best for this reel. Now this is only for visual purposes. I'm going to put the line around this reel. Now this is securing the line on the spool. And remember that this is just one way to, to secure a line. There's many ways to secure a line on the reel. I will show you in future uh, YouTube videos as well. So three. And repeat that. One, two, three and just tighten that up now see this little tag in here I want to cut that off quite short I don't want that to get in the way now I want line to come off the reel like that horizontally not vertically if it comes off horizontally it comes off the reel the same way it is being wound onto the alvey it's very important now that will reduce line twist substantially now if it comes off this way it will cause a twist each time it comes off and you'll end up with lots and lots of twist now that's probably why you've had trouble with alvey reels in the past where it's because the line was A, not wound on tight, and B, it was wound, it was wound off the reel sideways. Very, very important to know that. Now, a lot of people like to use lubrication. A bit of fresh water here, as you can see. A little bit of fresh water, and the reel goes in sideways there. Now, before I start attempting to wind line on, I'm gonna push that all the way through the, to the back of the reel there. Now that's so that lump doesn't get in the way when you lower the line when you cast out. It causes you problems. Now I'm going to just face it that way. Now if there's a bit of tag line you cover that. So I like to cover up the knot first. And then go along the spool. See the bottom of the spool there? It's all flat. And then go back to the left and then go back to the right which is by the way the opposite way for you guys that are viewing and back the other way now before I go any further I want to show you something very important to make sure the line's put, been put on tight it's so important to make sure you put it on tight. So you've got to grab the line to make sure that you put it on tight on the reel. It won't go on tight on the reel by itself. If you look into the bucket there, you notice the line is coming off horizontally, okay? It's spinning off the reel. So the way it's been spun off the reel is the way it's been wound back onto my alvey here, if you look back up to the alvey. And look at that, look how even it looks too. It's so important to have it even evenly distributed along the actual spool, the bottom of the spool. So it's not forming a big hill or a lump and it's been wound on beautifully, nice and straight, firm. Now I'm going to speed up just to get this out of the way. Now the whole time the spool in the bucket is horizontal. Now the amount of line that I'm putting on this alvey is only, well, half the amount or two thirds of the amount what you would normally put on. I'm only just showing you how to put line on the reel. So there you go, that's all that heavy blue line. Now I'm just gonna put this at the back of the spool here. By the way, you can clip that in the back of the spool there and just clip that, see? Now look at that line. Beautiful, isn't it? It is actually nice and even. It's on tight, look at that. No loose loops. 
and you'll have no problems. You'll have no problems at all when you start casting this reel out. It won't come out in a whole bunch of loops. By the way, which is called a bird's nest. You don't like bird's nest. Bird's nests are a real problem. There you go, how to spool up an alvey. Stay tuned.